Now, once you got your login and your password and everything all set up for the cloaker here, all you're going to do is come into the back office. This is all going to be blank. You're just going to click new campaign. Then now for the title, this can be anything, whatever yours is. So I'm just putting something random for the traffic source is going to be whatever traffic source that you're using. So just for example, we're going to put in Facebook ads and you want to make sure you leave this as under review until it's actually, you know, been approved and everything. That is extremely important, guys. Make sure this is always under review until it is 100% approved. And then also don't forget to click active once you actually do have it up and running because you can lose quite a bit of money if you end up leaving it under review and it's actually running and it's sending people to the save page. Now, your money page, this is where you want people to go who, you know, to your landing page. So like your bad landing page or page that people that um, Facebook, Google ads, YouTube, stuff like that, they don't approve of. So those black hat pages that we were talking about, this is where you want to put that link in right here. So you're going to put in black hat page. All right, and just put in HTTP. Okay, so like that. Then next, we're going to click next tab. And then right here, you're going to put in the safe page URL. So this is the page that you found on Google, uh, the white hat pages from before. You want to make sure you get the white hat page. Put that in here. Alrighty, then you're going to click next tab, next tab, next tab. And then right here, you want to click activate after unique visitors. And then I like to put this at 20. You know, basically all this does is um, after your Facebook ad gets approved, you click um, active. It'll still send 20 more people to the safe page just in case Facebook try to come back as a regular person. They still get sent to the safe page and you're all good to go. Okay, then after that, you want to simply click create and start integration. Oh, make sure you click the URL there. Now you're going to click that. Now for this one, this is the simplest, easiest way possible is to simply download the PHP file. That is so much easier than trying to do the WordPress and all this other stuff. This is by far the easiest way. So you're just going to click that. You're going to download it. Now, when you download it, it's going to be in your downloads. And all you're going to do is open up your file Zilla. Just like before, now you're going to come back, go back, go back. And whatever one you use, so I'm just going to put it in the, or in the random one here because I don't remember which one that we had it before. Well, I'm just show you an example one. Okay, so I have this work from home one right here. Well, this is a weight loss one. Okay, you're going to put the PHP file right in the beginning. Okay, right when you first open the folder, you want to put it in here. You don't want to put it in any folders or anything like that. You want to put it right in the beginning of it. Okay, so whenever you drag the first file that we dragged in, wherever you drag that first file at. So remember in the beginning, you drop that file right in here. Okay, you dragged it right in. Then you open it up and it's going to have the index or it's going to have some um, some page, some uh, HTML page, whether it's a download or anything like that. OK, you're going to put this right in here. The index file that we just downloaded, the one that we just downloaded, this is the one that we just downloaded. This goes in here. OK, once you do that, you want to click copy URL. No, what you want to do. Sorry about that is you want to click file permissions and then you want to change it to 555 because that's what it says to do on the next page so as you can see right here it says change it to 555 or 775 or, you know it normally works on 57555 and then you want to do that click OK then right there and then that's when you you want to copy the URL here 
and you want to come and paste it and then again you want to get rid of everything but that and then click the index.php file then you're going to click test url and it's going to give you a green light to go and then that's pretty much it guys that's literally all you're going to do for that extremely simple okay now just a quick recap because you know it is a little confusing once you download the script it's going to be right here on the computer so this is the one i downloaded this is my script we're going to open up filezilla and then whatever one that you downloaded in so this let's say i had just drug this onto here you know so this is the one right here i drug this on here and so this is the one I was working on before. That's the top one. Okay, so I drug this one right in here. I'm going to take this page and I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to take the PHP file. PHP file and I'm going to drag it. No, I'm sorry about that. I'm going to drag. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to drag it right in there. Okay, right into the front part. Right into this right here. Then we're going to copy the URL. Well, first, we're going to change file permission. Because it's always... It's stuck to that. It's a 644. We're going to take that. We're going to copy it. Copy URL. Then we're going to paste that in there. Click test URL. It won't give you this message right here because it'll... Oh, take all that out okay so as you can see test was successful and there you go right there now the only reason it'll give you something wrong right there is if you put in a name wrong or you don't have this uh, set up correctly but literally all you have to do set it up correctly now all it's gonna do is this right here is going to send us to now this is your page right here is what you're gonna use for the campaign okay now this is your campaign URL this is what is going to send people to the other pages. Like you don't want to touch any of the other, the safe money page. You don't want to touch the safe for URL page. None of that. You only want to use this page right here. You will go to Bitly, paste it in there, save it, whatever you need to do. You know, and this this is the URL that you use right here because this is the one that you're going to give to Facebook, Google, Yahoo, any of those. Put that right in there, you know as your traffic, where the traffic is gonna go. So that's where they're gonna test everything out at. And then you're gonna be good to go from there. As soon as you click um, activate over here, so as soon as it goes live, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna click activate. Now, as soon as you hit activate, then you're gonna be able to come back here. You're gonna be able to click status and the click log, as you can see, Facebook, Facebook, Facebook bot, you know, this is from one I was running before, and they all got sent to the URL. See, Facebook bot, Facebook bot, Facebook bot, Facebook bot. So this is where they're going to come. They're going to come and check everything out. And then soon as you, it gets approved, you click active, and then you're going to start seeing real customers come in, and those are going to light up green. So let's show you an example of that. Okay, so this is what it'll show up like. It'll show up, like, as you can see right here in the green, their IP address, the, their Florida, I mean, the state, the city, their organization, you know, which is basically whatever service they're using, the browser they use. So real important information, guys, here. And that's literally it. That's all you're going to do. But definitely make sure that you keep that set under review until it is actually not in review anymore. But that's pretty much it on how to use this. Super simple stuff, guys. Just make sure you play around with it. Keep using it so that way you can get accustomed to it. It's just like anything else. You know, it's going to be kind of scary at first because, you know, if this is your first time using a cloaker, it's just like, oh, okay, well, you know, you don't want to mess up. But as long as you follow the video, guys, you should be fine.